Greetings, citizens of the internet. This is Rendon coming at you from the outpost of the corruption in Terraria 1.1 in this Let's Play Terraria series. How is everybody today? Oh man, I am awesome. Well, I'm awesome for a number of reasons. Number one, we are one episode away from episode number 69, baby. Oh yeah. And all pimps will know that the number 69 is possibly the pimpest number of all time. <laughs> yeah, baby. So, looking forward to ep to the next episode, which is going to be episode 69. Maybe I'm going to do something really sweet for that episode. Um, and number two, we are getting dangerously close to fighting the Wall of Flesh. And um, the reason that we're in the corruption today is that we are going to be building um, a demon altar pit. That's right. So before I kill the Wall of Flesh, I want to make sure that I have really good access to a demon altar because... I'm going to break all the other demon altars to spawn all the new materials in the world. But you need to keep one demon altar because you need to craft stuff with it. So what I'm going to do is go down um, this shaft here. And I've already prepared slightly the, the shaft that I'm going to dig. And there is the demon altar that we are going to be using. And um, basically what we're going to do is build um, a little, well, like a little, I don't know, like a little church or something. Um, around this altar, right? So let's get some light going up in this biatch. And then we're going to be building um, just like a little, you know, like a little, a little temple, if you will, dedicated to this altar. So this is the altar that, that we're going to be using in hard mode when eventually we do get to hard mode. Um, we're going to be using this altar to do all of our um, demon altar crafting. I, I don't want to go into hard mode unprepared people it's all about preparation baby and it's all about making sure that you know we've got everything everything ready for when we get to hard mode so we don't get our asses handed to us like a like a noob um and i th i mean i was i was going to kill the wall of flesh without doing any of this stuff man but um some of you suggested that it would be a really good idea to make sure that you have access to a demon altar so um that is really sound advice and that is adv advice that I am taking and guys if you are um, new subscribers then this is your opportunity to let me know in the comment section below anything that I should be doing before getting to hard mode anything that's going to make my life easier when I actually get to hard mode um, is going to be really really appreciated guys um, because god damn it man I'm going to be playing this game I'm going to finish this game if it's the last thing that I do in my existence. And, um, it's, you know, I'm going to need all the help I can to do that. Because, man, hard mode is going to be some difficult shit. Alright, so this is a pretty sweet little obsidian um, style demon altar, altar thing we got going on over here. So I'm pretty happy with that. That's pretty cool. That's looking good. That's looking good. Um, and I think now... Oh, the symmetry. Must be symmetry. Alright. Alright, guys. So, guys. Um, I, I do want to apologize for the delay um, in the Terraria series. I know it's been a, a couple weeks since I last posted a Terraria video. But I have been very, very busy numerous things numerous projects project number one has been the um minecraft adventure map series that i'm working on so hopefully you guys have all seen it if you haven't seen it yet click on the just go find it in my channel it's an adventure series that i'm working on with a couple of my um subscribers and it's going to be really it's going to be a really awesome series and i really hope you guys enjoy it um you know, I'm, try I'm making sure to try and make it as awesome as possible. And hopefully it's going to be something new and something fresh um, on YouTube. Something you guys haven't seen before. And I'm going to be working really hard on that one over the next couple of months. Um, so that's what I've been doing for the last couple of weeks. And number two, my girlfriend's mum came to visit us. Um, and she's been staying with us for like uh, a couple of weeks. So it's been pretty difficult to get any sort of gaming done or uh, let alone... Um, you know, make any YouTube videos. Mums, girlfriend, let, let me tell you guys, girlfriends, mums plus Terraria, do not, that, that shit is like oil and water, man. 
that does not mix. Um, I was actually playing a bit of Terraria um, at some point, and and my, and her, and her, my girlfriend's mum sort of looked at me like, you know, well, what the hell are you doing? Surely you should be at work or something. Surely you should be doing something to, um, I don't know, be manly or something. Well, what is this? What is this shit you're playing? So I had to take a had to take a break from that, and um, I was. Let, let's just say I was very inc I was very encouraging when uh, when my girlfriend and her mum decided to go shopping or something. I was like, "Yeah, go! Don't worry about me." And they were saying to me, um, "Are you sure you don't want to come with? Are you going to be lonely at home? We don't want to leave you here." I, I was like, "Leave me, damn it! Leave me, woman! Leave me here! I got shit to do. I got videos to make, man! Come on!" Anyway, so. That's what I've been doing for the last couple of weeks. So, um, but we are we are back now. I'm trying to get back onto schedule, trying to make sure that we get as many videos out for you guys as possible, man. And we're, we're just we're just working our way toward hard mode, um, slowly but surely, baby. Slowly but surely. And um, as you can see, there's gonna there's, I'm gonna have to do some e excavating to make this tunnel symmetrical. But um, as you can see, this is the plan. This is the demon altar plan. I think this is going to work out pretty, pretty sweet. Um, and what I'm going to do also is I'm going to, and this has also been uh, uh, suggested by a lot of you guys, is, and I think it's, I mean, I've been, I've seen quite a lot of guys do it also. Um, I've been, you know, watching other guys' videos and stuff. It's the, it's the best way, guys. If, if you, if you're trying to figure out how to like play a game really well, like Terraria or or Minecraft or any any game really YouTube is like such an amazing resource um, you know there's so many really brilliant brilliant YouTubers out there making awesome Terraria videos and Minecraft videos and if you ever need to know how to do anything YouTube is the answer and um, I've been watching quite a few guys playing hard mode and what they've done is they've built like a um, and this was also suggested by a lot of you guys but they've built like a platform uh, running along the top um, in the sky basically just above the the tree line and what this what this does is um, numerous things it number one it gives you a pathway um, to run without being blocked by the terrain and number two it, it acts like a like sort of like a um, like a train line I guess between all your stuff so um, like a train line between this demon altar pit and the Frodome for example and all you have to do is um, go up to the top of that that like um, it's basically like a train line I guess um, and just run along it to get to all the various places and you don't get up stopped by the terrain and you don't you don't have to fight like they're in the insane creeps that are trying to kill you and stuff so that's exactly what I'm gonna do you know and, and you, you basically just run it along the, the length of the map so that if you need to get to the ocean to go and to farm coral and stuff like that from the ocean you can easily get there um, so that's what I'm gonna do Still need to do that. Oh, and it also lets you farm mushrooms and um, and stars, obviously, because it's it collects all the stars at night. So all you have to do is run along the platform at night, and it, and you know, and it connect, collects the stars. If stars are what you're into, um, you know, if you're using the star cannon or what or whatnot. Um, so that's that's what I've been doing. I've also been working on the on the pimp cane, baby. Um, man, the oh god, I almost dropped my my knight's edge there they would have sucked balls <clears throat> but the pimp cane now i can't wait to show you guys i'm definitely going to show you in episode number 69 what the pimp cane is looking like i've improved the obsidian uh, factory because a lot of you guys said that my obsidian factory was a pile of shit and it was i have to agree it was it was pretty it was pretty bad it wasn't going to do the job that's for sure so uh, um, i improved that that's looking awesome i'm not i i now am growing all the different weeds also all the different um, plants like every single plant fire blossom water leaf all all of the, the herbs that you need to make potions and stuff are being grown um, as we speak and um I can't wait to show you guys. It's going to be really awesome. I'm also going to put uh, like colored torches and stuff around. One of you guys suggested putting colored torches all around the pimp cane. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. That is going to be sweet. Um, and man, when hard mode comes, those creeps are going to rock up to the Frodome slash pimp cane and just be like, God damn, this guy is a pimp of note. Um, so that's the plan. All right, guys. So I've got some excavating to do. Um, and... 
through the magic of the internet, I'm going to make sure that you don't have to watch me dig away all this crap. So I'll be back in about one second flat. And we're back, and we're just building the tunnel, baby. The, the love tunnel to the demon altar of love. Oh, yeah. I'm going to make love to my hoes on that demon altar. It's going to get freaky. <laughs> hmm. Right. All right, guys. So we've, we've now excavated the tunnel. Um, we're adding some light all the way up, and we're just going to finish off the walls and that is going to be our demon altar pit man this, this is this is sweet man seriously now this is what i was talking about a, a cup I don't, I don't know when i was talking about it but i was talking about it at some stage um and i was talking about how terraria is, is a game of terraria is whatever you make terraria to be right if you just want to play Terraria, like speed run it, you know, like a lot of guys, um, there's a lot of YouTubers who, who do like speed runs, you know, they try and beat all the bosses really fast, beating all the bosses in 24 hours or whatever. You know, that's one way to play the game. Another way to play the game is like to totally immerse yourself in the game and, and create like a, your own little world away from the world, you know, and that's, I think that's what I try and do when I play Terraria. You know, in Terraria, I get to be an Afro pimp. Um, and obviously, in real life, I, I don't have an Afro at all. And never could have an Afro, sadly. Man, if I could grow an Afro, I would rock that shit. How many of you guys can grow Afros, man? Seriously. And I'm not talking about Napole Napoleon Dynamite Afros, man. Because that ain't an Afro. Right. So our demon altar, altar, um, demon altar pit is almost complete. Um, and this is sweet, man. Maybe what I'll do now is, is quickly go back to the pimp cane and give you guys a little, a little taster of what the pimp cane is going to look like. And then uh, in episode 69, which is going to be the next episode, um, we're going to take you through the inner workings of the pimp cane exactly how it works man and um you're gonna be you guys are gonna be impressed well i hope so anyway it's definitely looking better than when you guys last saw it that's for sure what i am struggling to do is find the statues though man oh god i've been searching for hours for the statues all right let's check let, let's check it out demon altar um pit so we come all the way down and bam there is our demon altar oh this is sweet guys this is perfect Lovely. I am I'm super stoked with this. Sweet. And then we can go all the way back up and then it goes it this pit goes all the way into the um into the outpost too, which is which is sweet. So that's good stuff. Although we don't have the bed here anymore, but um that's okay. Man, these worms are after my ass. Alright guys, so we we're gonna head back to the Frodome um and I'm gonna give you guys a little taster of um of the pimp cane of what the pimp cane is looking like at the moment um it is looking sweet so i spent a bit of time watching um Yurimura's videos um on how to make factories basically for hard mode man his videos are the sweetest guys if you ha if you have not seen his videos yet you need to go check it out and subscribe to him because he is he's got to be like top two or three if not number one terraria youtuber on youtube definitely man he's so sweet um in fact, I'll put a link in the annotation um, of this video for you guys to go check it out. But um, he, through his videos, I've learned how to make um, fire, fire blossom and water leaf statu um, factories, um, which is sweet. So, and once you've got the factory going, um, you don't need to do it anymore because it, it, it creates its own seeds. And you can, just, you can just harvest the seeds and then replant them in the pots. Um, so once you've, once you've actually set up your statues... Um, ooh... I heard stars falling, man. I'm I'm collecting as many stars as I can for my star cannon. There's the star. All right, guys, we're coming up to the Frodome and we're coming up to the Pym Cane. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. We are one step closer. Look at the, look at it. Look at the Pym Cane, baby. <laughs> and that's all you get to see. <laughs> that's all you get to see. That's the preview. Gonna leave you on that cliffhanger, guys. We'll see you in episode 69. Keep real, keep cool. This is Rendog signing off. 
please comment if you have something to say and please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. We'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace out.